one point five. We got this. We, we got, got this. it. We got this. Okay, so let's jump into it. Testing grounds card. This is the player card that this is basically a graphic where we, we can see uh, an image, right? We can see a, in fact, you know what? I'm going to make this a lot easier for all of us. Can you see my screen? I can. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so let's get the actual graphic up. Here we go. Bang! Now y'all can actually see what's going on, huh? Let's go. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm happy we got it working. Okay, so this right here, this is the uh, this is a player card that has made me excited for a potential um, Sky Nimbin map, right? So we have here our road, we have our hazard symbol. So this is the Raid Knight hazard symbol, some roadblocks and a big mountain in the back with forest here and a stormy sky here. Uh, and I think you may remember um, your Sky trailer looks very similar to this yeah. as far as like the aesthetic. So, um, so basically, what are your thoughts on having a Sky map? What, how, how awesome would that be? How awesome would that be? What would you want to see from it? Like, what would you, you know, I know that's a hard question, but like... Oh my god, I don't know. Oh. I would want to see like just fun Australian references, you know? Like Love it would, it. would be cool if there was like, maybe like a zoo there, like that had some animals in it. Is that <laughs> stupid? Joke. Like, no, not that, no. just that you could like Wait, see. Like just so you could... type of thing. Like a, 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 a national wildlife type thing. Yeah, like, like and maybe, okay. maybe there's like some, there's a zoo there. I mean, I would want it to have like a really cool, like, um, obviously an Outback vibe, but because Australia mm. is like obviously very Outback, but there, I would also want it to have like um, the ocean because we have such beautiful beaches. Mm, um, just a sense of like the the vibe of Australia. I mean, right. that, that would be that would be really cool. Like have some kangaroos in there. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. that's some kangaroos. Okay, I love it. In Australia, there's a lot of like you know kangaroo crossing signs and stuff. If you're driving through an area where there's a lot of roos around and stuff, like it'd be cool to see things like that. Like just like yeah. things, little things like that would be would be really cool. Um, do you really think that there's a chance that it will be an Australian map? Yeah, I'm actually, well, the reason why I'm being kind of quiet is because I am going to show you something else that might interest you regarding uh, an app. Um, so, this right here uh, makes me think, right? So this was, uh, because wh when Valorant had their one year anniversary, they did a bunch of different videos and stuff to celebrate. Uh, this was one of them. So you're seeing here this player card, right? Um, now, to me, this looks kind of similar to what we see in that player card. Uh, and we see like there's a building here, right? Um, with some sort of mystical blue energy, if you like, at the bottom. Now, whether or not this is going to be a, a map, I don't know. But it does feel a bit random just to show us what looks like. Honestly, it could even be this thing right here. If you see what I'm, if you see yeah. what I'm going with that. Yeah. Um, I could see that being a map where people can play on. Um, this would sort of be defenders. This would be attackers. Uh, this literally only shows for like a minute because like it's it's a really highly edited video basically of like valorant stuff but yeah for the first frame or so we can see what would be really cool as a as an australian map unfortunately we can't really see any oceans here uh obviously we can see some waterfalls mm -hmm. um but it, it wouldn't be totally out of surprise because like ascent is meant to be a floating island um so you know it's i th yeah I, th I think it would be cool whether or not this is going to be the next map who knows uh but i like the reality is that we, we never know, you know, we never know specifically where or what location uh, the next map's going to be until obviously it happens. Um, but we can definitely do a lot of theorizing and Valorant does try to give us um, breadcrumbs, if you like, to follow uh, to have a, a guess of what the next thing might be. So, yeah, whether or not it's going to the only reason why it might not be and it could be a map in the future, not this map, the next map coming, the, maybe the map after is because historically, Valorant normally releases a map that is uh, connected to that uh, to the season at the time. So during October, they were uh, they released Icebox, which was like a it's in the Arctic tundra, right? And then in the summer, they released a Caribbean map. Yeah. Um, so if they were to do a you know if they're to release a map in October to December sometime, 
Um, this doesn't look very wintry to me. Uh, but who knows what, you know, who knows what they could do. Maybe we could even have dynamic weather. I doubt it because I very much doubt that, but it'd be cool. So yeah, that, that is what a, a Nimbin map could look like. I have actually looked at a lot of Nimbin videos on YouTube. Um, What's the, the vibe is of Nimbin? It's just like hella small town, right? Oh, wouldn't, um, when I was describing Australia, they were like, wouldn't that be a lot like Breeze? Breeze is a Caribbean map. The Australia is very mm. distinctly different and the vibe mm. would be very different. We might both have like nice oceans, but like it would, if it was an Australian map, it would be, it would be very different. It wouldn't be the same as Breeze. I can very easily actually, obviously it's going to be different for you because um, you're Australian and stuff, but um, but an easy way of going about this and the reason why i've just gone onto some random website is overwatch um it's because it this i always like using examples from other parts of the industry to sort of explain these things because i understand the the thought process there um but there are you know that you can only do a certain number of maps before there are going to be similarities between some maps right um it's not like you know well, yeah there's an ocean be, uh, in it, both it, places but there's like a there's, no, there's an ocean in india you know yeah what I mean? so, exactly like, <laughs> so you know like you see all here like you, you know you have two um city maps right uh, and you know from from a, a distance these two look quite close but this one is havana and this one is la um, which is quite different, right? Uh, so I can I can understand the thought process, um, but yeah, no, I think it's going to be beautiful. And realistically, Valorant only has six maps, right? Um, I think, yeah, that's, that's wow. Correct. Are um, they the Overwatch maps? I've got to say, and as much as I love Valorant, obviously I'm going to preface that, but like Overwatch maps are freaking beautiful, Miranda. They are so nice, and they have so many of them. Currently, we have six, and they have like thirty something. Oh, um, fuck! Yeah. They're amazing. <laughs>